Aloha. Welcome to paradise. Aiea, Hawaii, just outside of Honolulu and the home of the Hawaii Rainbow Warriors. A tremendous setting and a spectacular game that we have in store. Little gets the blood boiling. Quite like a rivalry game. Barbs, shots, trash talk, things that go on throughout the week will now all be settled on this field. As we'll see a team coming off a crucial bye week, the UNLV Rebels. Taking on a squad hoping to prevent another L this week, the Hawaii Rainbow Warriors. For EA Sports College Football, I'm Reese Davis, joined here in the booth, as always, by David Pollock and Jesse Palmer. Guys, let's tee this one up. Rebels will boot it away to start the game. And they thought about a return, then thought better of it. They'll bring it out to the 25. The Rainbow Warriors offense will have the first possession of the game. And as we look out on the field, here comes the man, the man who makes it all go, and that's this quarterback. Yeah, and he's big time. That's why he's up for all these awards. He's, he's known. Everybody knows exactly what. They intercepted. Takes it the other way. At the 20. And it's going to be a pick six. Touchdown, UNLV. What a play by the defense coming out early in the game on the very first drive and setting the tone. Not just forcing a three and out, not just forcing a punt. How about creating a turnover and taking it to the house? Pick six. Lining up to tack one more onto that lead. And the extra point is good, and it's 7-0. They're lining up to kick it off after the pick six, and that defense will come out feeling it. Bringing it out. Not a lot of space to be found. Good hustle by the coverage team, and they stop him at the 21. Hawaii ready to go back to work on offense. Well, the good news is they threw a touchdown pass last time. It was just to the wrong team, Jesse. Well, that's an unfortunate part of the game for quarterbacks, but guess what? They do happen, so you've got to be able to turn the page here and lead this offense. Well, I think you know this defense is going to be aggressive. They're going to jump routes. They're going to play aggressive. You've got to take advantage of that. Maybe use that this time to your advantage. They line up with some serious work to do if they want to convert this one. Third and long, and he'll try to throw for it. Any way you can in your freshman season at quarterback, and he gets it done on the ground. And the Rainbow Warriors will line it up on first and ten. They'll put the tight end in motion. From the gun, they'll try to impose their running game. I know you want to prepare for every game the same way, but there's just something different about rivalry games, Jesse. It's because, Reese, I think players are aware that games like this define your legacy as a player. Your record in rivalry games is something that people are going to talk about for years and years down the road. You have got to show up and play your best football game. And the ball is intercepted. Going the other way, and he's got room. And they'll close in on him after a good return on the interception. And this ball looks like it just got away from the quarterback. I think he made the right decision. He was going to the receiver that seemed open, but just not very accurate on the throw, and that leads to the interception. A first down for the offense. On the run, it's Allen. Not much working there. It'll be second and nine. Went with the running game on first down, now back at it. The give to the running back from the shotgun. And a good, solid pickup before the defense cuts him down. Offense breaks the huddle on third down. Looking for a man. It's O'Neal. Throws to the wideout. He's got it. 
And he almost ran away from everybody on that one. A huge pickup on that play. Yeah, and you see some quarterbacks who hesitate to throw the ball in the middle. I love it when you attack the whole field. And the middle of the field and being able to throw over linebackers and between safeties is a big skill. But show that defense. You're, you, you will attack everywhere. On the option. And the ball is out. Who's going to get it? Defense just cradling that fumble and securing it. And he's brought down, and this defense gets the ball back for its own. I love those smashes where you can hear it up here, Reese. Goodness gracious, you can hear the contact. Such a big lick. The offensive guy doesn't hold on to the football. Huge momentum swing. Big turnover forced by the defense. The Hawaii offense returns to the field. They'll go to the counter play. They'll rip off eight on that play. It's second and two. After the good pickup on first down, let's see if they keep it on the ground. He wants to throw here on second down. He's right on target. Stopped at the 44, but he got 10 on the play. Now they'll line it up from the 44 on first and 10. They'll give it to the back. And the running back didn't get much there. Nice job by the defense. You can tell they're focused in on this running back, on this run game, being physical, getting knockbacks, and limiting his carries. Getting some heat. It's caught downfield. And they've got the defense on that one, and they get it to the 29-yard line. He'll come out throwing on first down. And he's picked off again. His night vision hasn't been up to speed. His third interception. And he's brought down after the pick, but not before putting his offense in business. This drive will commence from their own 11-yard line. Touch pass on the right. And he'll pick up one. It brings up second and nine. Kept it on the ground on first down. Now back to the line. Dropping back, it's O'Neal. He'll grab the throw to the sideline and step out of bounds after picking up a few. Hold it, hold it, hold it. Open, open. That penalty moves the ball back 10 yards. We'll replay the down. Second down coming up. The run from the shotgun. Just what the doctor ordered to get away from the shadow of that goal post to pick up a first down at the 23. Well, the ball carrier really showed up for his offense there, right? Down in your own end, within your own 10-yard line, you need someone to step up and, and make an explosive play happen. you got to make people miss and give yourself... The expressway is wide open. Running inside the 20. Defense is there to make the stop, but he's got the first down, and they'll have it first and goal with the six. Well, there's a big run on offensive guys. I don't think a defender even touched him anywhere near the line of scrimmage. That's how big that hole was. And the Rebels have it with a first and goal. Here's the snap, looking to throw. He was open, he had it, and he dropped it. Would have been a touchdown. Instead, it's second down. The run up the middle here, looking for a path to the end zone. And he's loose, and he'll take it to the house. Touchdown, Rebels! Backed up in the shadow of their own goalpost, no problem. When you start in the black zone inside your own 20 coming out, it's difficult. You can give up a safety. You get worried about that. The offense puts a great drive together. The coach wants the officials to have another look at the monitor. Using a timeout here, thinks the call is going to end up going his way.
And how about the keen eyes and sharp awareness from the coach to challenge that call, and the officials agree it'll go his way. Wide receiver shows motion. Touch pass on the jet sweep. Touchdown, Rebels! And they made it to the house when they found that six points waiting on them. Number Can these guys just score from anywhere out there? After that drive, it sure looks that way. And that's what separates really good offenses from great offenses. When you're backed up in a bad position and you can still fight your way out and they'll get you a touchdown, that's a great drive by the offense. They'll try to add another to their lead. And the extra point makes it 14-0. Let's go to the studio now and check in with Kevin Connors. Kevin, what do you got? Dynamite matchup this week, fellas. Let's show you what's going down. Utah is trailing right now, but it's only a couple of points. That quarterback just needs to show the poise of a young Alex Smith, and they are right back in this. It's a touchdown game. They're trailing by seven to BYU. Looking left. Just another week of college football where we've come to expect the unexpected, fellas. And how about that one? Kevin will be keeping an eye on everything going on elsewhere. From the gun, they'll try to impose their will. Tried to move that pile forward. He maybe gets two. He's down at the 21. A third and long coming up here. Here's the snap, ready to cut one loose. And it's his fourth interception of the night. Didn't get much on the return, but what a huge play, and they are in business at the 24. And that's the advantage right there of having your dime personnel on the field. You've got an extra DB. You've got an extra guy out there who's really good at covering. So for quarterbacks, you've got to be so good and precise with these passes because they've got speed in the back end. They're able to come away with the pick. The UNLV offense ready to return to the field. There wasn't much need to throw it around on that last drive for the touchdown, Jesse. They got it done running the ball. And David, I don't think you have to overthink this thing. If they can't stop you running it, why would you stop handing it on? Just keep at it here on this drive. Well, and if I'm the defense, I'm making some changes. I'm bringing in more big bodies. I'm playing more aggressive towards the line of scrimmage. I am not going to let them have that kind of drive again. It's first and 10 from the 13. Might as well run him until they stop him. He's got it again. Works his way down to the 10-yard line after a pickup of three. Brings up second down. Guys, that's the end of the quarter, and UNLV has the edge. They largely dominated this first quarter as indicated by the stats. This could be a pivotal moment in this game as we open the second period and they try to find a way to answer. Leaves it with the back. Bulls his way forward. They get him down after a four-yard gain to the six. The terrain gets rough this deep in the red zone. Third down, they can't pick up the first without scoring. They're trying to get to him. Couldn't find anywhere to throw the football. Just got rid of it, and that's the number one thing. Avoid disaster here. They'll try to put three on the board as the field goal unit comes on. No, no good. Missed the field goal. Missed the chance to make it a three-possession game. It's still a 14-point lead, guys. They send the offense onto the field. The lead's not insurmountable, just down 14 0. But David, you don't score here, and it could get a little tricky fast. If you don't score here, if you don't possess the football and put something together to give your defense a little bit of a blow, it's not the ideal start. But it ain't like this game's late in the football game. Create some momentum here in the second quarter. Yeah, momentum's a real thing in college football. This team needs the juju to get going. That first quarter is one they'd love to forget. So find your best playmakers now. Get them isolated. Get them the football and let them go to work. On third and long, doesn't need to take the check down. And that is his fifth interception, a nightmare he is not waking up from. You know he would have loved to have tacked on a big return to that pick, but they've got it in the red zone at the 15.
guys, the running Rebels offense ready to go back to work. They wanted to set the tone, strike quickly. Jesse, they've done exactly that, up two touchdowns. And this quarterback has been dialed in, too. He's been so good reading coverage, going to where the open guy is with the football. And they've been up and down the field, David, so far. And this defense needs to make something happen right now. I mean, you've already given up a couple touchdowns. Your offense has got nothing going. Still early in the game. Get a stop. Create some momentum for your offense. Looking for a man. It's O'Neal. A little screen to the running back. They play that screen nicely. He tried to find his way to the marker, but it'll be fourth down. And they'll send the field goal team back out for the second time tonight. The fake kicker's going to run for it. And they're not going to pick up the first down on the fake field goal. I know they wanted to be aggressive, throw caution to the wind. They might have been better off playing it safe there. Zings it complete to the right. That completion leaves us with second and medium. Off the play fake. Fires to the wide out. Can't quite make the connection there. Might have led him a little too much. Couldn't find his man last time. Now they'll have to convert third and four. From the gun, wants to pass. And the Heat will get home, and the quarterback goes down at the 17. And those outside linebackers nowadays, they're so fast. They got to cover ground, but you can blitz them off the edge, and they can get after quarterbacks. Versatile. That's why they're getting drafted so high in the NFL and getting paid all that money. The Rainbow Warriors will send out the punt unit. He gets the first one off, and he was busier than he hoped in that loss last week, being called on five times. He's brought down, but a real solid effort to pick up every bit of yardage he could on the punt return. UNLV ready to go back to work on offense. And I think they'll give him two on that one, second and eight coming up. Went to the running game on first down. Now here they come again. Looking for a physical attack from the gun. Nowhere to run on that one. He loses four on the carry. Now facing a third and long. To throw, it's O'Neal. Right down the middle. Complete downfield. They've got it inside the 40 at the 39 as they pick up the first down. The offense showing motion from the tight end, trying to get a read on the D. They'll run it from the gun. He showed it all there, a little elusiveness, a little power, and he's got the first down. The Rebels are rolling down the field. They'll give it to him again. Draws are such a smart way to take advantage of fast defensive linemen that want to get upfield and get after the quarterback. It keeps them honest, makes them realize they got to play the run, too. Great play call. And they wrap him up, but not before he gets enough on the catch for the first down. And the Rebels come to the line with a new set of downs. He wants to throw. Let's it fly. He snares it in the end zone. Touchdown, UNLV. They want to finish the season strong, and man, are they doing that here in this Week 11 performance. And how about that? His second receiving touchdown of the ball game. Find ways to get your athletes the ball. They'll do the rest. That's number two. They better start playing some better defense, or number three is coming soon. PAT unit on the field. And the extra point will tack another one onto this lead. They just finished off a 53-yard scoring drive. And they finish it off by connecting from 10 yards out. He'll bring it out. He was looking for more running room, but none to be found as he stopped at the 23. Hawaii ready to go back to work on offense. 
they just haven't been able to get anything going, and they better get started or it's going to get away from them, David. Yeah, and these are the weeks that you really wish that you were playing a video game, and you could just reset the console, start over, Jesse, and make something better happen early. It just looked like they're sleepwalking in this first half, and it's not just one guy. They, they just haven't been playing collectively as a unit. And if I'm the head coach, I'm considering starting to give some other dudes some chances here. They bring him down, and he's going to lose a yard on that one. We've made our way to the two-minute warning, and now they'll try to at least cut a little something off of this lead before the break. He lost it high and deep down the left side. And they wanted it all on third down, but now dealing with fourth down. And the Rainbow Warriors will try to pin them back with the punt. This will be the second time they've had to kick it away. No return coming. He'll call for the fair catch. The UNLV offense ready to return to the field. What a good mix of plays keeping that defense off balance last time, David. And, and Reese, they don't know if it's run or if it's pass. They got them right where they wanted. This defense doesn't know how to react to getting punched in the mouth on that last drive. So in this next drive, David, I think you keep running the football because that sets up the play action. It sets up the RPO game, and then you keep this defense guessing. Here they come, first and 10 from the 48. Back to pass, it's O'Neal. Got his man in the middle. And he was able to shed a tackle and pick up the first down before they finally get him on the ground. The offense will quickly use a timeout. They want to just keep throwing it. Quick completion on the out. And he'll step across the sidelines after making a good gain on that one. Trying to get a rhythm in the passing game now on second down. He's looking to throw. Unloads it left. Almost intercepted. It'll fall incomplete. The defense almost came up with a turnover. He'll throw on third down. Oh, and he just flat dropped it. You do not see this guy do that very often. It'll be fourth down. And for the second time tonight, they'll trot out the field goal kicker. Never a doubt for this big-footed guy. 49-yard field goal is good. We check in with Kevin Connors. What's going on, Kevin? All right, guys, want to update you on a game that went final moments ago. Kennesaw State is going to get out of Dodge with a win. This shave might have been a little closer than Owls fans wanted, but a road victory feels great no matter what the final score is. A lot to go through in the film session this week for both teams, but boy, it sure is going to be easier for the side that came away with the win. And Kevin Connors keeping an eye on everything all over the country. Sounds like they had a good one there. Stopped at the 17, and he's probably second-guessing that return. The Hawaii offense returns to the field. Boy, they've been caught in a buzzsaw here in the first half, but maybe a chance to carry some momentum into the break here. It all comes down to this drive right here, Reese. Obviously, this offense hasn't had everything go right for them in the first half, but here's an opportunity, David, to execute some plays, put some throws together, and generate some points. And you're right, Jesse, and this offense needs to start now. Like, we got to get some points on the board, create some momentum, and continue it, because you've dug yourself a significant hole. Unloads to the wideout. All kinds of room to throw that one in there. A timeout is called as this offense tries to find a way to get more points on the board before the half. To the air on first down. Oh, the freshman lucky that one didn't get picked off. Wonder if they'll throw it again after the incompletion. Second and ten from the 49. Coming after it. The quarterback scrambled around, but the defense able to scramble him and turn it into a sack. Here's a timeout on the field. Tight game here late in the first half. And he's not going to get there. The defense stands tall and makes the stop. Number 69 in puck formation to kick it away. A fairly short distance here toward the sidelines. Not his best work. It's first down, but the offense is just going to take a knee and go to the locker room. As expected, looks as if they'll run it out and go into halftime with a lead. That's the end of the second quarter. That means it's time to join Kevin in our halftime update. Fellas, what an environment there today. All the animosity and flat-out hatred that comes 
with a good old-fashioned rivalry game on display in that first half. It's been a fun start to this one, and this offense has really been the story. They've opened up a sizable lead, and unless something drastic changes, things might get even more out of hand. A combination of lethal efficiency, and that offensive line has been the key. They've mauled that defense and also just about broken their will. With that, let's throw it back to the guys to see how this rivalry matchup plays out. Kickoff team is on the field. They'll try to drive this one deep. And he takes this from inside the five. He was looking for some running room, but not much to be found as he stopped at the 18. Guys, the running Rebels offense ready to go back to work. Moving the running back, forcing the defense to adjust. Pulls it in. It's Thompson. He'll get it up to about the 32-yard line before he stopped, and it'll be first down. Used the play fake. Now to throw. Got his man quickly. Didn't pick up a lot there. Moved it forward just a few. Right on target with that last pass. Now it's second and medium. Looking for space. It's James. He's dropped behind the line of scrimmage. That'll be a loss of three. They line up, and it is a long way to the sticks from here. Wide receiver now comes in motion. On third and long, trying to have a big completion here. There to make the tackle, but the big throw is good enough to give them a first down. The Rebels are moving quickly down the field. From the gun, they'll give it on the inside. He's dropped behind the line of scrimmage. That'll be a loss of three. Last play was a near disaster. Now dealing with second and 13. Going downfield for the big play. It's complete. A huge pickup. I'll tell you what, that's great execution between the QB and receiver. They look like they could execute that throw in their sleep. The quarterback took his steps, threw it on time. Great route by the receiver. Nice job securing the catch. From the gun, the give, looking for room. Powerful running as he trucks his way to the 28. Halfway there on first down, it's second and five. Now the play fake. Fires deep toward the end zone. And he intercepts it. Defensive backs have tough jobs. I mean, you think about whether you play nickel, whether you play dime, whatever it is, you put more DBs on the field. It's more speed. It's more guys that can cover. But they also got to cover that ground. But to cover the ground and make the pick, a lot of times you don't see that. Superb effort by that guy. Hawaii has it back as they send the offense onto the field. Out of the gun, they give to the back. And he's almost to that first down marker there, saying he's a little bit short. They might want to bring out the sticks and measure, but it looks as if he'll be just short of the first down. Quarterback on the keeper. They work their way to the 35-yard line. It's a gain of five. They'll snap it on first down from the 35. He's looking to throw it. Grabs it in the middle. And oh, he was off to the races after the catch, and they finally drag him down. In search of their first touchdown of the game, they are on the move with a first and ten. Here's the handoff. They bring him down, and he's going to lose a yard on that one. This offense has a second down play. He's looking to throw. Going over the top. And they wanted it all on that incomplete pass. Instead, they're looking at third down. Guys, this offense is already reeling down. Multiple possessions really need to cash in on this drive. A shot toward the end zone. And swatted down by the defense to stop the scoring opportunity. The Rainbow Warriors will bring the punt team onto the field. They'll look to pin them deep. And the punt hits at the 8 and goes into the end zone for the touchback. UNLV ready to go back to work on offense. From the gun, running back on the move. 
They knock him down after a gain of three to the 23. He's got three on first down at second and seven. Brings up second down. Looking downfield, it's O'Neal. Almost had the pick there. Would have been his second of the game. Instead, it brings up third down. If they can convert here, that type of play can really give you a shot of momentum. Fires to the right. Oh, what a grab by the defense. And he's wrapped up after a solid return on the pick. Well, I think it's pretty safe to say this guy's going to be getting a helmet slipper. That now is second interception of the game. He has just been lights out here today. Hawaii ready to go back to work on offense. After punting the last time they had it, they ought to be set up for a much better result with this drive. This offense better be licking their chops. You're not going to start with better field possession than this all game did. You ain't lying. Forget about the last possession and what we did. You're already in scoring position. Take care of that football. Make sure you get some points. The play action fake. They're working that left side. And he'll step out of bounds after a very productive play. Third and short from the 28. Let's see if this is four-down territory or if they just pick up the first here. They get him on the ground, but not before he gets enough for the first down. And the Rainbow Warriors have it with a first and ten. Right back to the well. He's knocked down in the backfield. He'll lose a couple. Let's see what they've got on second down. He's looking to throw. Pulls it in. It's McBride. He's brought down quickly. Minimal gain there. Still a bit short of the first down. The Rainbow Warriors are threatening in the red zone. Defense didn't maintain its discipline there, and they get into the neutral zone. It'll cost them five yards. Defense. Defense. The offense needed something just anything to give them just a little breathing room and the defense provided it with that penalty they turn to the passing game on third and short he's brought down but he's got him inside the 10 first and goal from the eight Guys, that's the end of the quarter, and UNLV has the edge. And as we switch ends of the field, let's take a quick look at the national rankings. One more quarter to play, and it might be unlikely, but hey, it's college football. Comebacks happen. With the run on first and goal. Yeah, and this offense has to find a way to run the football. They, they got to get more creative. Whatever that looks like for this offense, something to jumpstart them because nothing really going on the ground. Yeah, defensively, though, you got to give them credit, too, because they knew that physically they were going to try to be challenged up front. That was a big M.O. for this offense coming into it. But the defense, they've risen to the occasion. Their front seven has dominated this entire game. Reels it into the end zone. Touchdown, Hawaii! A quick strike, just as we expected. Yeah, and quick strikes are easy when you got such great field position. Obviously, when the offense starts in such a good spot, puts the defense in a bad position, and the offense takes advantage. And now they'll try to get the two-point conversion, guys. Pushes ahead. He's not quite going to get there, and the try for two fails, and they are unable to cut into this lead any further. He'll bring it back from inside his spot. Really disciplined job by the coverage unit to get down there and make the stop at the 19. The UNLV offense ready to return to the field. To the ground with the back. Got it across the 20 and out to the 23. A pickup of four. After the productive first down play, it's second and six. Second down coming up. The give to the back. 
into a mass of giant bodies. We'll call it a one-yard gain to the 24. Now on third down for this offense. Third down. Gonna run it. It's James. Really nice run there. Good, solid pickup, and they'll move the sticks with a first down. Looks as if we have an injury on that last play, and we'll take a break to check him out. Finally, some signs of life from this offense, which has done nothing in the second half. It's first and ten. Keeping it on the ground with the running back. He's dropped behind the line of scrimmage. That'll be a loss of three. Last play was a near disaster. Now dealing with second and 13. The option look. And he's knocked down, but there's also a flag that's been dropped. Let's check on the call. Hold it. Hold it. Hold it. Up and up and We'll repeat the previous down, but this time the offense has 10 more yards it has to cover. They'll try the run. Plows through the defense. This is a third and long. Third down coming. He'll ride his man on the option. He'll pitch it. And he'll run across the sidelines after the good game. And the Rebels will punt this one away. Cover guys do their job and they get him stopped at the 22-yard line. The Hawaii offense returns to the field. They'll throw it on first down. Fires to the wideout. Nearly another interception. It'll be second down. Couldn't make the connection last time. Let's see if they throw it again. Wants to fire on second down. They get a rush, and it pays off the sack at the 20. These are the perfect situations you love to be in. Known passing situations. These are not where the offensive tackles want to be. And when you're on the edge and there's no threat of the run, Pin your ears back, get the nice first down sack. You make up the game plan and not a lot on the play sheet for this. Third and long from inside their own 20. Looking to throw and he needs a chunk play. And it's another interception as his assault on the record book continues. And they'll drag him down after a good return on the interception. Heat up them pass rushers bringing them DBs. That's what I'm doing in this situation. When I got the lead by a couple scores late in the ball game in the fourth quarter, I'm going to rush the passer like crazy. I'm going to put all those DBs back playing the pass. That's what happened. Great job understanding they're going to have to take shots. We get the interception. This one's almost over. Off play action on first down. Looking for the end zone. Touchdown UNLV. And the route is on. They're now in really good shape to get back into the win column as they extend the lead here late. They've extended this lead, guys, but sometimes in a rivalry game, you get down and you fight back that much harder. Man, you've seen crazy comebacks and crazy swings of momentum in rivalry games. You just need that first thing to break your way, Palmer. And I think it really comes down to their key playmakers, David. They can come back, but these guys need to take ownership. Now's the time. In this type of game, they have got to step up and start making plays. Almost ready to kick it away after scoring the touchdown. He'll return it. That gamble did not pay off as they bring him down at the 12-yard line. Hawaii has it back as they send the offense onto the field. He'll start this drive firing. Makes the grab. A quick tackle made, but he's got plenty for the first down. Fresh set of downs after the completion. Wants to throw on first down. Trying to get to it. Going to try to get it himself. Nice job of avoiding the sack and picking up a few on the run. Line getting set on second down. He's looking to throw. Fires and picked off. Made that play and was hoping to make another one on the return, but they'll take it in business at the 41. Nice job by this defense. That might be the exclamation point. Fourth quarter, I got a lead. 
You bring on the nickel defense. You know they're passing the football for plays just like that to make the INT and almost put this one away. Offense set on first down. Out of the shotgun, they go to the ground. A strong tackle and wrap up from the junior. After the three-yard pickup, they come to the line second and seven. They'll keep it on the ground. They want this clock to move. Found that crease, and they knock him down after a pickup of five to the 32. And that last run leaves him with a third down. Well, they keep it on the ground. They'll try to run for it. And he's brought down after a nice game. The Rebels will snap it on first and ten. A little pre-snap eye candy for the defense. And a pickup of eight opens a world of opportunities on second and two. We reached the two-minute warning, and this offense is that much closer to salting away a victory. Looking for a crease, it's Allen. Not a whole lot of progress made there on the short run. Boy, they'd love to pick up this conversion and go to work with a first and goal. They move the tight end all over. They'll run for it on third and short. And he was fortunate not to lose yardage on that play, able to wedge it back to the line of scrimmage. And they'll send out the field goal unit. And it's right down the boulevard. And they'll push that lead out a little further. With that field goal, no, now no, it no, takes no. a touchdown six, to beat six, them. Six, so six, you want to pin them back and then let the defense have a little room to work with. And no chance at a return. Here they'll start this drive at their own 25. Hawaii ready to go back to work on offense. This has been a really disappointing performance, David. No question about that. But they can find some positives. Yeah, and every time you watch the tape, you know, Jesse, coaches are pointing out, look at this. This was open if we had just ran the details to the right route, hung on to the football. Little things can make a big difference. Yeah, that's why they call it a game of inches, David. But I'll say this. If you're on offense, don't go on social media this week. It ain't going to be pretty after this performance. You've got to lock in. you got to take the week of practice very seriously and find those positives that you can build off, David, that you're talking about. This is where you make the money on the drives. Ball at the 30, it's third and short. From the gun, wants to pass. Grabbed in the middle, it's Sims. And boy, is he close to that first down, maybe just a couple of inches short. They'll bring him down. The clock is at zero, and that is how this one will wrap up. It's really easy to get caught up in the emotion of a rivalry game. We did, and certainly this was a huge win. Yeah, and you started, you circled it, you were ready for this team. This is this is the rivalry you put a lot of stock in all offseason. You're talking about this game in particular. You go out and get the dub. It's a relief because you definitely wanted this team. And it's bragging rights for everybody, for the coaching staff, for the fans, but how about for the players as well? For another 365 days, you can talk about how you went out, you dominated, and you beat your rival. A lot of these guys are going to go on to the NFL. They'll be in locker rooms next year. They'll be talking about this for a long time. That's going to do it for us from here. For Jesse Palmer, David Pollock, I'm Reese Davis, and this has been another presentation of EA Sports College Football.